Okay, I went to sleep last night and it was nice and warm. I woke up and it's winter time. 58 degrees out there, so I had to break out the boots today. Getting hot in here, though. We're warming <laughs> it up quickly. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on a glorious, rainy, cold Tuesday morning in Athens, Alabama. This is Athens in the AM. Here's what's coming up on today's program. He's back. That's why I had to wear He's boots. He's back. John McGee, my old attorney buddy from T-Town in here this morning, and Tom, well, he's just hanging around. Tom, I got a bone to pick with your kid. Man, uh, he's talking smack on text. Uh, huh? And John, you was cornholing down in T-Town. <laughs> huh? the, the, the man who taught us to cornhole <laughs> on his way up to Happy Valley. We'll talk with him in just a moment. He got a little woman with him this morning, too. We'll check in with her because she's got her houndstooth boots on. That just tells you what the weather's really day like this boots. morning. Making her first live appearance on television today. That's right. There she is. <laughs> uh -huh. She can't wait. We'll be talking with her extensively in just a moment. Oh, wow. Here's the papers. Oh, Frank and Tony in here too this morning. If y'all want to get with me, get through one of them. Two three zero one one two. Well, that's my number. I'll give that to you again. Two three zero four nine eight. Huntsville Times. That was close. Do you think? You know, when I did the Auburn schedule a Friday up there, I gave Auburn credit for this win. I said mm -hmm. they wouldn't win, but four. But I did give them this was one of their four. It was close. They it was won. a good play there at the end, too. Bama, I agree, kind of agree with Frank. I was not that thrilled with the Mighty Tide. They just didn't seem to have it this game. But, you know, we played it. She was still five turnovers. Still beat the dog out of them a lot better. But, you know, the one thing that irritated me more than anything this weekend, that dang woman announcer on that old <laughs> <laughs> Women do not need to be... Up in the I press agree. box. She stunk. Put some sexy <laughs> clothes on and get on the sidelines where you belong. Okay? That's Tell all. He said John, it. tell me, talk to me. That woman's horrible. I cannot comment on that. Didn't she call the Alabama <laughs> game last year, the Alabama Duke game? Yes, and we didn't I, like I, it. I either. about threw up. <laughs> if any of y'all disagree with me out there? The hundred or thousand oh, y'all watching oh, this oh, morning. Oh, text me. My, hey, Corey, get a shot of my number right there, please. Right there, I was 230-1123. One, two, this is my number. I'm giving it to you folks out there. Y'all can communicate Lucky. with the man who knows it all. 230-1123. I'll be accepting text throughout the program, maybe. But how many of y'all disagree with me about that one announcer? She's horrible. She is horrible. I Get know. on the sidelines, put something sexy on, and talk a little football. Let's look at Erin Andrews. Now, we've all seen her. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Jamie, have you thought about Dancing with the Stars? I think you could do it. Oh, you thank you, John, for bringing that up. <laughs> All right, let's go to the weather right now, because as we know, it has changed. And I don't like maybe it. great by the weekend, but it ain't worth a dang today, is it, baby? I don't know. A good day to stay in the house today, possibly. Hmm. Break out the boots today. 58 degrees out there. And yes, rain still in the forecast. Raining out there now will probably be raining until 4 o'clock at least. At 4 o'clock, that drops down to 30% or 40% rather chance of rain. Uh, 59 for your high. Check that out. Ooh, this is about as warm as it's going to be. Tomorrow, 70 for your high. Getting just a little bit better. And let's see what the rest of the week shows. I hope warmer temperatures. Rain, a little bit more rain uh, in the forecast for tomorrow. And then, of course, cloudy sky. Look at the weekend. 82 for Saturday. Yay. 230-498 gets us this morning. Yes, text moron. 230 you stand up and show those boots off? Weekend. It cost me a payday. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Leave my boots alone. You got the payday. short ones on today. Yeah. Paid. Yeah. <laughs> got more belt buckles. So I got a text from you about that announcer. Yeah. That announcer was pathetic. <laughs> pathetic. It's hard to listen to. I don't even know if my phone's on. Oh. Does it matter? I thought, did I take a picture of myself? John, I sent my first inadvertently text message, inappropriate text message, a couple <laughs> weeks ago. But I sent it to a guy friend of mine, so me and him got something going on now. Uh, <laughs> really? He might have thought that. I don't know. Yeah, you don't say. Hey, I do, got, I do have a little history for y'all. Labor Day, which was yesterday, on September 5th, 1972, mm -hmm. Black September terrorists attacked the Israeli delegates at the Munich Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. Eleven Israelis, five guerrillas, and a police officer were killed in the siege. Y'all remember that? Hmm. You don't. No. We've I've seen documentaries about that. Yeah. <laughs> what was that movie? <laughs> Munich? Uh, yes, yeah, Munich. Okay. Munich. 
and today, this was in the paper over the weekend, if you're a Mexican, you ain't spending no money today. Hmm. While right. some Alabamians may rejoice in the prospect of a state with no illegal immigrants, some Hispanics believe the absence of undocumented workers would put a drain on the state's economy. This was in the news courier over the weekend. Some limestone county residents who are opposed to state law are asking legal and undocumented Hispanics to take a stand today, a day without Hispanics. Well, you know, my grass don't need cut today anyway because it's raining. Stop it. Well, you ain't going to be doing no roofing because it's raining. Stop <laughs> it. Well, I hope they come in and pay their insurance Awful. today, though. That's but I mean, I'm just saying. How can you offend today? Women, Hispanics? The movement began Hispanics. through a comment posted to Facebook, but now the I, I, ideal supporters want to spread the message. The idea is to have Hispanics and those opposed to the new law refuse to shop, go to work, school, or any other activity that helps the state economy on Tuesday, that being today. Well, if they're going to be deported, what does it matter? So you anyway? know what? Our viewership just picked up. Because y'all ain't working, y'all can watch me all day long. <laughs> Lucky y'all. There you go. Huh? <laughs> what do you think, John? <laughs> no comment right. from the lawyer. Huh? You it, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you, hey, <laughs> you gotta get back in the swing of things yeah. now. <laughs> if you're a NASCAR fan, they didn't run they didn't Monday or Sunday. They're going to run, I'm assuming, this morning at 10 o'clock. If anybody's still in Atlanta to watch <laughs> the race, uh, they're running away. today. There's a bunch of them leaving. They're taking a lot of heat over that decision by not running it yesterday. Now, let's get on my favorite subject, Alabama football. Hmm. <laughs> I've got my top 11. John always likes to see that when he comes in, Brad. <laughs> yeah, forget it. <laughs> top 10. If, if anybody knows the new top 10 is out, can somebody please text me that this morning? Because I don't know. But there's the top 11 as we go here every day. <laughs> what do you think, John? How they look? Well, I know you were disappointed this weekend, but, you know, they're still young, especially the quarterbacks. So, I mean, McCarron's the way to go. Well, I, I think. The Sims didn't show me anything. Well, I think we're going to run the ball a good bit. I really do. Richardson got 37 yards. He got three touchdowns. Oh, so. well, yeah. I mean, All right. Last <laughs> year, we finished fourth in the nation in turnover ratio. There are 112 teams in the College Football <laughs> Association. We rank 111th today. Ooh. 111th. I, I imagine that's going to change. 111th. Oh, get over it. Well, I okay. guess, are we going to phone in the season now? I guess we're done, aren't we? Well, LSU look good now. I've got an LSU guy up here every year. Well, he won't be with us now for three or four weeks. But uh, USA Today this morning, see if you agree with any of this. Questions, not answers, Tom, in opener. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about opening college football. Is it better at raising questions than providing answers? First one is, in post-Cam Newton Auburn, as shaky as it looked. Yes. yes. <laughs> this after being outrushed 227 to 78 yards and needing a mad dash to get past Utah State. A program without a winning season since, get this, 1996. Ooh. Auburn plays in Auburn at 11:20 on Fox 54 this Saturday against Mississippi State. Win or loss? I think Mississippi State will probably win, but I'm, I mean, Auburn gets up for the game, so I mean, you really don't know week in and week out. Mississippi State by two touchdowns. Can you cook an egg with the, with the heat on Georgia's Mark Rick? This after getting manhandled in Atlanta by Boise State. Well, I can't believe they let Georgia wear those uniforms. Oh, that's pathetic. What's up with the stingy defense of TCU? Well, 50 points by Baylor. That was something to watch. Oregon's renowned offense continues to struggle against SEC with Auburn and getting walloped by LSU. So anyway, just a few things to talk about there. Well, about Notre Dame, you know, that was... Rick Mould, I didn't bring that up, but I'll go ahead and talk about it now. Losers. Poor Rick. <laughs> you, know what, you know what the perfect day for an Alabama fan is? And Saturday it almost, almost. was there. Almost. Almost. We it beat the dog out of a team. There they are. Auburn loses and Notre Dame gets beat. That's the perfect day for an Alabama fan. So it could happen again this Saturday. Well, We're going to beat the Penn State by two or three touchdowns. Auburn's going to lose to Mississippi State, and Notre Dame's going to lose to Michigan. We're going to, where we're going to be You're up not there. not mad at Tennessee anymore? At uh, Penn State, <laughs> there's some friends of ours up there that are our Notre Dame fans, and that's going to be the first night game at Michigan. So uh, after we watch the Alabama-Penn State game, that's the plan is to go watch the Michigan Notre Dame game, of course, I think most Alabama fans will be pulling for Michigan. Uh, 
So it should be interesting. No right, no Alabama <laughs> fan, no Alabama, we play them next year in the Dallas, you mm -hmm. know. No Alabama fan in the right mind would ever root for Notre Dame. I mean, just, just say it. Or Auburn. <laughs> huh? <sighs> Tom? Well, I was at the Sugar Bowl years ago where Notre Dame came back and beat Bama. It was. Well, you had to bring that up, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> That was 1973. I was know. A New Year's Eve party. Yeah, but I, see, I was just beginning to be a big Alabama fan at that time. Yeah. It let me down. Well, mm -hmm. well all right, I'm going to change subjects right <laughs> yeah. now before I go out my last story this morning. Oh, boy. Finally found something that kind of a dog kind of favored me. Yeah, right. Show the photo. No, oh, there it is right there. His name is. A street dog probably known as Ligua, or Tongue, sits on a sidewalk Friday in Havana, Cuba. Dang. He's good at rolling cigars. <laughs> He's good at something. There he is right there. Well, All right, boys. Do your Gene Simmons, Jamie. Nicknamed him Rover. I interviewed Gene Simmons once, by the way. You lost that what? one. You lost that one, Were you too. in full makeup? My phone is not working. I have no service. How well, don't do you be have using service? mine. I'm about to use your phone. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm checking my stuff here. You already had a female text you and get on to you about that woman announcer thing. Ooh. <laughs> Shocker, I know. All right, is there anybody the out there who disagrees? Was that woman not horrible? She was mm. horrible. You let me know about because I don't ever watch Auburn. I, well, I just flipped it over there. Mac wanted to see what was going on before I sent him upstairs to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and so. I knew your, that was your favorite announcer, so I wanted to let you know about it. Women. She was bad. Back me up here, John. You're my attorney. Well, maybe not all <laughs> yeah, women. Yeah, I'm going to advise you to. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your mouth women, shut. <laughs> women have no place in sports. Wrong. Wrong. In the announcer's booth. I, I disagree, but I understand that your opinion is not in a minority. There's been several people that several? expressed that. Yeah. Like everybody. Well, I'm everybody. looking around this room. There's probably 50 or 60 people in here. Not one of them has disagreed with me. We disagree with you daily. <laughs> daily. Don't we, John? Yes, daily. Mm. I'm just saying, <laughs> women announcers do not. Now, if it's Aaron Andrews, I might. Might. What about Susie Kobler? You know, she's the. Well, she don't announce. She's just on the face. She's on the sideline. So you don't think anybody should be in the booth? In the booth, play calling, play. The, doing the. This woman was doing the play-by-play -play announcing. And I guarantee you that man right there probably agrees with me. He Coach Bob Gotts, he works. Coach is not going to touch Coach, that. Coach, women announcers do not need to be in the booth, do they? <laughs> Thanks for coming, Coach. We'll talk with Coach Gossie in just a moment. Here's the Hartsville Tigers are 2-0. Ain't even allowed a point scored against them. So we'll check in with him in just a moment. Right now, take a break. Come back with ZNN in just a moment. Y'all hang on.